You see, the land of Biafra must be defended at all costs. At all costs. It is the land of God, given to his children for their eternal habitation. We may have failed in the past to recognize this very fact, but now that this generation has come, there is nothing anybody can do to stop us from restoring the kingdom of God upon the face of this very earth in the land of Biafra, without apologies to anybody. I understand that the Sarikin, whatever, Sarikin Fulani of Lagos went to see the U.S. ambassador to Nigeria in Lagos a few days ago. And according to the message, or should I say information coming out of the U.S. mission, they said is to foster cohabitation and unity, that diversity is strength, and I want to lay that particular nonsensical narrative to bed tonight before I continue any further. Anybody telling you about strength and diversity, that person is a liar and a deceiver. And the U.S. ambassador is a liar and a deceiver. One thing they don't teach we Africans is this. No country exists on a foundation of multiculturalism that is no, nowhere in the world. Listen to me very carefully. All this nonsense, even the, the, the crap that Coca was coming up with, telling you about diversity is our strength and all that rubbish. Allow me to repeat, there is no country on this earth that survives on a foundation or a bedrock of multiculturalism. It doesn't exist. That is why multiculturalism in Africa is dead on arrival. It can never work because we are tribal beasts by nature. We are tribal by nature. That is why we travel from wherever we are during New Year's, during Christmas, during Easter, during New Year Festival to go back home where we come from. Because that is where we identify with. Now, let me ask the U.S. Ambassador a very simple question. Is United States of America a multicultural society? U.S. that was created and built by Western Europeans. U.S. was created, should I say, created by God, of course. Built by Western Europeans. Mostly English people that was fed up with the way of life of the English monarchy. They went to America on Mary Rose. I want to ask the U.S. ambassador, I want to teach Africans what they don't know this evening. There is no country that functions on this multi-ethnic rubbish. It, nowhere in the world. Not even the USA that was created by people who are not indigenous to America. The owners of the soil of America are Native American Indians. That is a fact of life. God gave America to Western Europe to develop and gave them a special grace to be the beacon and the light and the conscience of the world. Because God knew that if he had left all these wonderful people in Europe, they would become contaminated. He removed them from Europe, sent them to America, built a wonderful nation as a shining light and a beacon for the whole world to look up to. Even that America that was built from scratch by people who are not indigenous to the land is not multicultural. Why am I saying this? America was founded on the principles of Judeo-Christian, Greco-Roman, democratic value systems. I repeat, America is not multicultural. They accommodate other races and other nations. Yes, they can accommodate you. But where you're coming into, the bedrock, the foundation of America is based on Judeo-Christian principles, Greco-Roman political ideology, which is republicanism. America is not multicultural. America is Western Europe. The value systems of Western Europe, Judeo-Christian, Greco-Roman republican governance. Had America been a multicultural society, they will have space for Sharia. I'm now addressing the U.S. ambassador to try to tell them to stop deceiving people. We are educated, we went to school for a reason. We are enlightened and we have our brain intact. There is no country on this earth that runs on this wishy-washy multiculturalism. It doesn't happen. What you have are established order and value systems upon which various cultures can now coexist. If you go to America, you coexist under the provisions of the United States Constitution. 
And the U.S. Constitution is a Christian Constitution, not Islam. America is not multicultural. But under that bedrock of liberty and egalitarianism, you allow other cultures to come in. But first of all, they must wear allegiance to the or take an oath to uphold the constitution of the USA. That is something that the U.S. ambassador never told the ginger with that went to visit her. The same way that Nigeria cannot function as a viable entity. Willis Schoenka knows what I'm talking about. I'm even sure somebody who claims he's learned, as, as Bishop Coker is, understands what I'm talking about. No country on this earth. The value system of the state of Israel is based on Judaic principles. The value system of Russia is entirely theirs, it's based on theirs. It's a Russian way of doing things from time, from times of the Tsar. If you go to Saudi Arabia, it is essentially a Sharia Islamic state. You can live there, no, no problem. You can build your churches if you want. I think they have not to allow churches to be built. But it is never, never a multicultural society. Japan is not a multicultural society. China is not. They can accommodate you. But that doesn't mean they have more to... This, are, this is type of nonsense they feed Africans. And we fall for that very gimmick of multiculturalism. At the end of the day, you end up with a useless contraption like Nigeria. You don't have any value system that anybody anywhere can define. If I talk about the USA, I can talk about hamburger in the USA. We can talk about... What else do they have in the USA? Hamburger, you can talk about... Um, What's it called? What are the traditional dishes? Um, apple pie and all the rest of it. You can say that these are American dishes. If you go to the UK, you can talk about maybe mashed potato and bangers and mash, which is sausage and mashed potato as their national meal. That's understandable. But I ask you, if you come to Nigeria, what is the national dish of Nigeria? Does a Fulani Janja with eat a fegusi, where we come from? Does an Igbo man eat a wedu soup? The answer is no. So on what basis is all this so-called multicultural foundation going to be laid upon? On what? We are not one people. We may be black, we may be Africans, but we're not one people. Not even one religion. If Britain cannot stay in an EU that is entirely Christian, EU is entirely Christian. Britain left. Nigeria, you don't know if Nigeria is Christian or in fact is Islamic. So for me to accept the multiculturalism being preached by the U.S. ambassador, I have to embrace Islam as my religion. That's what it means. And some of you get taken in by all this rubbish. And I feel sorry for you. Yeah, sometimes when I say this, I'm being very arrogant. If you are educated, you will understand that no nation is multicultural. They allow other cultures to come in. It doesn't mean they're multicultural. They have a viable space where multicultural ideas or identities can thrive. But the foundation has to be monolithic. It has to be one dominant value system and ideology. That's how it is all over the world. Don't let anybody fool you otherwise. That is the same reason why you have this, this, this anomaly. In a so-called, in a so-called republic, you have royal fathers in a republic. Because you are trying to shuffle multiculturalism. You are trying to marry the feudal system of the north, the monarchical system of the west, and the Republican um, system in the East to marry them into one. And what you have is entirely rubbish, and that is why Nigeria can never work. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. Competing value systems. Nobody wants their own value system to be subsumed under another person's value system. This is something that the U.S. Ambassador never told you. But here I am telling you today, because if you come here, you become educated. If you come here, you become enlightened. If you come here, you stop being a zoo animal, you become a human being. That is why we are the largest and, of course, the most consistent broadcasting platform insofar as Africa is concerned, right across the world. Millions listen to us because they know we preach the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth.